Okay, so I'm back at the bus. I'm going to weld this hat channel up top here to the bus frame itself at the top here. I'm going to weld the bead around and then uh, go to the other side and weld that uh, original hat channel segment into the hat channel cap. We'll prime this. Then I'll finish uh, grinding the outside of these hat channels. And then I'm going to cut some of these pieces of sheet metal in half and do the, uh, the middle supports as I did on this side to fill in the gap. And uh, maybe I'll get to hanging some sheets. I don't know how much work I'll get done before I got to go home today. Okay, so I put a few ugly welds in around this. Now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to cut a little piece or two pieces of angle on either side. You can see I've uh, used a wire wheel to clean that up a little bit so I can weld. I'm going to tack those and rivet them in place to kind of support this structure from the sides and uh, then I'll after that I'll hit it with some primer so that'll hold that hat channel in place it'll act as the door jam or the uh, the door hinge support so I just don't want the welds to break over time that's why I'm doing it this way okay so I've uh, cut some pieces of angle got it clamped in place I'm gonna drill a hole this way and a hole up in this way well, after I rivet, I'll drill the other hole so they line up. But I'm going to put a rivet here and a rivet up there and uh, do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll weld those in place so that the hat channel is good and strong in all directions. And then I'll weld on the inside here some to join the uh, various sections of hat channel, hat channel cap, etc. Okay, so that one's riveted in place and I'll go to the other side. Okay, so I uh, finished welding those uh, those two angle pieces up in the corner. I'll show you that. So these angle pieces are now riveted and welded. This isn't going anywhere. And uh, I'm going to stiffen things up in the middle by welding the uh, inside and outside hat channel pieces together. And then I'll finish grinding from the outside and put up the sheet metal. Okay, so I've primed this inside the bus and I went outside and I used old holes to plug weld. Hopefully you can see here, got plug welds built all the way up and down the channel or welded in so that these two are joined. Should be good and strong. Okay, so I ran the grinder along the hat channels to get any high spots off and then I went ahead and hit it with the light coat of primer just to kind of keep things from rusting prematurely except for that one forgot to do that one I'll get that so anyhow next step now is to uh, cut some uh, sheet metal fill the green pieces from the ceiling put them in the uh, middle here and uh, clamp it get it ready to weld okay so I've got this put up I fired up the welder I'm gonna tack the metal in place okay so putting the next little segment up here I ended up shifting those because I didn't want to use up a whole bunch more metal just to just to go a few more inches so um, anyhow uh, with this one I'm going to tack it in place and then there'll be one more set over here that needs to go in okay so I got all this middle metal put up be ready to Kind of drill some holes in that sheet metal and then we'll be able to put the bigger sheets up outside probably tomorrow if I had to guess so good progress today all right that's what it, what it all looks like here after finishing my work today so be ready to start putting up sheets okay so back at the bus here it's a nice soggy, rainy, cold day in May. Believe it or not, we're possibly getting snow and 20 degree weather on Sunday. So anyhow, uh, the plan here is to get these last sheets up on the outside with some bolts. I need to drill a few more holes in the sheet metal and lay those out and grind them from the outside real quick. And then we'll be able to lay 
the reskinning sheets on the outside and put some bolts through them. And I've got a helper over here who doesn't want to be in camera, but I'm not honoring her wishes. Wearing Pap's hat. All right, so we're starting to hang these sheets. Got the first one clamped in place. We're going to drill some bolt holes and get it secured. All right, so we got the second piece here on this side up with some bolts. Next step's going to be the line of rivets at the bottom like I did on the first piece down here. Now we're going to put this piece in place right here. And uh, I'm just going to cut it off clean with the, with the angle iron or angle grinder up against the edge there. Okay, so we got all the sheets uh, rough hung with some bolts. The hardest part of the job should be uh, considered done at this point. I'm going to cut that off flush, like I said, with the hat channel. So, anyhow, pretty happy here. All right, so the next step here is to run the rivet line down the bottom of the bus, or the bottom of the panels above the rub rail. And... Uh, get those in place. That'll make sure these panels definitely aren't going anywhere. And uh, from there we'll start working up the channels like we did before. I do have to make the, uh, the cut line on that overhanging piece there in the doorway. Um, I'm going to leave some in the top of that at the height. I've already marked the door frame height on the inside. So that'll be some metal to help back the, uh, back the sheet metal that's going to cover that little gap there. Um, it's gonna that sheet will go in behind that frontward sheet so anyway it, it'll make sense when I'm doing it talking about it, it's confusing it's actually pretty dark in here I'm gonna reconnect my trouble lights so that I have some light to work inside here and then there was light so pretty dark in here till we get some uh, RV windows installed later in the process uh, so anyhow, uh, now I'm going to drill holes from outside. I've got to mark them real quick with the uh, template like I have been doing. They'll be uh, along the bottom of the panels. All right, so I have the uh, little paint dots drawn, if you can see them, little yellow dots for drill holes. We'll get the holes drilled and we'll rivet a line down the whole panel. Okay, so drilling holes along the side of the bus here on the bottom. And uh, it's end of the first week in May, and it's actually snowing outside. I thought April was weird this year. May's even weirder, so good thing I didn't plant the garden yet. Definitely going to freeze here this weekend. Okay, so I've got all these holes drilled. I went ahead and put some Cicaflex in behind from the inside. I'll put a dot on each hole. And then I'll be uh, running a row of rivets across here in a minute. So after that, I'll be done for the day. All right, so I got all the rivets uh, put across the bottom here. And we still got the bolts in, so these sheets will not go anywhere. I think I'm about done for today. I may, I may put an angle grinder wheel on and cut this excess metal off for the doorway I already marked the line inside from the back so yeah I think I'll do that and then call it quits for the day nothing's on fire that's my breath in May so got the angle grinder here I've uh, been cutting this metal out I'm gonna put a little uh, vice grip up top so that when I break through at the bottom here it doesn't bend the metal I'd like to use this sheet still for other stuff so um, anyhow I'm going to brace it at the top with the vice grips okie doke so we got the uh, door opening cut here panels are attached enough they're not going anywhere I'm kind of cold kind of done for the day I'm going to pack it up and head back to my house Okay, back at the bus here. I'm going to start uh, drilling the next layer of holes all the way down. I figure I'll do one or two rows of holes at a time. 
and just crisscross the whole bust that way till it's uh, up about halfway or so and it's uh, stiff enough to do the the top row and we'll do that with bolts again because that worked really well okay so I've got uh, some rivets going up the sides of the wall here trying to get either end of each panel further up so once they've gotten stiff enough from enough rivets then I'll be able to run the top bead and finish drilling the holes in the sides so yeah the many many rivets it's a fairly slow process I did manage to get this end all the way up because it's holding so much together I used a half inch grip rivets